Hey yo, what's up dorks? Welcome back to my channel. By God, has it been almost a year already since I've gone quiet? Feels like yesterday we were playing Fortnite together. Oh, how the time slips away. Anyways, let's start this new year off with a bang. If you haven't read the title already, I want to make a video for those of us who are new to Steam. Look, check out the situation. You've just bought a new PC. May not be the best, but may not be the worst. But it's yours now, and you want to run headfirst into this glorious platform. You've obviously spent your money on the PC, so what can I do now? Well, for starters, Steam alone offers so many free-to-play games. If you go elsewhere, you can find things like Roblox, Fortnite, Warzone, League, Genshin, Rocket League, World of Tanks, and so many more. Today's list will just focus on Steam alone, but I'll make more videos in the future for other PC platforms, and more. Anyways, without further ado, let's -a go! Number 5 -o. Kicking off our list is Sims 4, reason being who the fuck doesn't love The Sims. Since being turned into a free to play back in 2022, The Sims is a great game to get your dollhouse fixed. With how customizable and quirky the game is, you will most definitely be spending hundreds if not thousands of hours on your imaginary family. I just wish the same vibe went towards my real family. Anyways, even though it is free now, you may want to be careful because now a lot of things for it does cost IRL money, but the base game and content is free, so all you really have to lose is your precious time with your loved ones. Number 4 Now, I was a little iffy mentioning this game because of how insanely competitive and toxic it can be to most newcomers. However, if you love competitive first person shooter games, or you can stick by playing casual game modes, then Counter Strike 2 can be the way to go for you. CS2 was formerly known as Counter-Strike Global Offensive, however, recently it became free to play and players have been vibing with it non-stop. It can be at times fun, however, if you're a zoomer gamer with a fix for fast pace and quick movements, this may not be the game for you. I have some more coming up for your liking, but if you love doomer shooters, then this could be your next addiction. Anyways, let's move on to Numero 3. Now, if you're really into battle royales and can't stop flossing, then Apex Legends, PUBG, and Call of Duty Warzone may be the games for you. I would say hop over to Fortnite for the best battle royale experience, but if you're sticking to Steam only, then you have lots of them to choose from. However, I'm going to lump in Apex, PUBG, and Warzone together to make sure this is a more cohesive list. Apex does have a lot to learn with the mechanics and features, however, once you eventually get it down, it can be fun, especially when you pair it up with your mates and you guys go in for a sesh of a lifetime. Just be wary that you can only pair in trios for Apex, not like many other battle royale games. PUBG and Warzone on the other hand can handle squads, so that may be the game for your least liked member in your party. Warzone is your best bang for your buck, because sometimes Activision does drop free weekends where you can play multiplayer matches with paid members, and you can have fun on Shipment and Rust. Number 2 E. Now then, this one breaks my heart because Overwatch 2 has skinned Overwatch 1 alive and is now wearing their corpse, leaving the husk of a great game on a pile of shit. Now, if you are going to just play Overwatch 2 for free and not pay for anything, I would say this game is great. So many heroes and playstyles that you can choose from, and what's even better is that you can actually play with your friends on multiple systems. I've had a blast parting it up with my friends from all different consoles. Now, if you hop over to Steam right now, you will see only a 15% approval rating, which is very low. However, most go into the politics and the game and the developers. But behind all that, the game is pretty fun. I wish it never transformed into Overwatch 2, but the base game and heroes are hella addicting and you can't go wrong for just trying the game out. A 6v6 hero shooter that you can pass a lot of time with. If you don't want to support Overwatch at all, I highly recommend also trying out Team Fortress 2 or even Paladins, two great shooters that are very similar to Overwatch and beat Overwatch to the punch. Both are free and you won't feel guilty for trying either of them. Now. Here are some honorable mentions that I was debating adding, but may add to another future video. They were tough to let go, but unfortunately I can only choose 5 at the moment. But for now, let's head over to... Number 1! Did you really think you were going to get through a free to play top 5 video without me mentioning VR chat? You'd be insane! But you're probably wondering yourself, why VR chat? I don't have a VR headset. Well, here's the funny thing dork, you actually don't need one. VRChat is a social game where you can hang out and talk to friends or randoms and go stupid with it. If talking isn't your cup of monster, there are also games and experiences you can try out. For example, there are games such as Prison Escape, First Person Shooters, Escape Rooms, Hangouts, Clubs, Movie Worlds, YouTube Worlds, Meme Worlds, everything under the sun, VRChat has it. 
Think of it as a Gmod in Roblox if they had a child. A fucked up abomination that you could spend hundreds if not thousands of hours on. If you get hella comfortable with it, you can actually either buy a Quest 3 for $500 or a Quest 2 for $250 and experience Steam VR. It's that simple my friends. I could spend hundreds of hours on any world just fucking around with people and making new friends. It's amazing. Well dorks, there you have it. Here's my list for the top 5 games for new Steam users. If you have any suggestions or want to criticize me, comment down below. If SteamVR has piqued your interest, I could either make a list for SteamVR games or a tutorial on how to play VR chat, or even how to get started with VR in general. With that being said, I wish you guys a new year and I really hope that this is a great one.